Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. one eighth inch walnut and one eighth inch mirror acrylic. We making jewelry today. Welcome to the project. A while back, I made some jewelry with my Glowforge. I inlaid some mirror acrylic inside of some walnut. That's still one of my popular selling combinations. So in this project, instead of doing the inlay, I will be stacking them on top of each other. So I'm gonna take the mirror acrylic and I'm gonna stack it on top of some walnut. I hope it looks like what I think it's gonna look like. So let's head to the laptop so I can show you how I'm gonna be doing this design. Okay, this is the design that we're gonna work with right here. It's just a 100 emoji, whatever. I got this off of Google. I just Googled 100 emoji and I found this PNG. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your PNG does not have an outline around it. And as you can see right here, it says none. But if I was to add an outline around it, that's it, that's like a one point. But we wanna make sure that it has none around it. So it's just a PNG. Okay, next thing you wanna do, you wanna select your PNG. You wanna go up here to edit and you wanna make a copy. And then you wanna duplicate you a second page on a blank page. And you wanna paste it right here. And this is what we're gonna make the walnut part of it. So it's the walnut part is like one solid piece in the back. So the way that I decided to do it well, I just want to use some circles because you see like the edges of right here. It's like not cornered or anything like that. So I didn't want to use anything square. So I just want to use like some circles. So we're just going to create some nice size circles, something like that to start with. And we're going to just add the circles in between everything because we want everything to connect. Right now it's not connecting and I don't want to put a contour around it or anything like that because I want it to be this exact size. This size of this is around one and a half, no, 1.3 inches wide and 1.2 inches tall. That's the size of this. So we're just gonna create some circles like this and we're gonna connect them all the way around. Now I'm gonna do that now. Now that we have all of the circles and we have everything in it, select everything and just go up here to this combine tool right here and combine everything. So it's gonna give you a look something like this. We still have the white sections right here that's unfilled. So this it'll cut this out. And the next thing you wanna do, select this smart fill tool right here. And you just wanna select inside of like the unfilled part, which is white. So you just wanna select inside of them like so. And then it's gonna fill all of those parts in. So now what I do is I just select everything, change the color to all black, like so. And then I just go through my little steps right here where I say bitmap, go up here to bitmap, convert to bitmap. And I use black and white. Okay, now it's a bitmap and I just use this uh, trace bitmap. We're just gonna use the quick trace. So you do a quick trace and it does that. But what we wanna do is we wanna go up here to object. While it's still selected, you wanna go up here to object and move to the back, select out of it. Then you wanna select this bitmap that you traced and just delete it. So now you have this solid piece right here. Select it, go up here to the pin and select hairline. Put a hairline around it. And then what you wanna do is unfill it. And then there you have it. You have one solid piece. This is what's gonna be the walnut part of the charm. But we wanna connect, we wanna add a little hook to it so we can hook the uh, jump ring to it so it can hook to the necklace. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a circle again. And you wanna center it up here. So the best way to center it is select everything, go up here to alignment, align centers, select everything again. Go up here to the combine tool, combine it, just like so. And we're gonna create us another circle. And move it into the center of that so we can have somewhere to hook the jump ring to, like so. And to be perfect, select everything again. Go up here to alignment, align centers, and there you have it. I like to group everything. And also, I just like to make this I like to change the color of the outline. So we're gonna change it to a RGB, just the color red light. That's gonna be the walnut part of it. 
So the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're just gonna create a hairline around it and we're gonna unfill it like so. And this is what we're gonna cut the gold out. But we're also gonna make it so it lines up perfectly. We're gonna select it, edit, copy it, and make sure you don't move it when you copy and paste it on different pages. So you want to take it over here and paste it just like so. And then what you want to do is so it won't, so you don't get it mixed up when you're cutting it out. You want to take what you just copied. And I just like to change that color because we're going to score that color. So let's change it to like a blue light color like so. And so therefore the blue is going to score on the wild nut and the red is gonna actually cut it out. And this part right here, this is all gonna be the gold acrylic that we're gonna cut out and glue it on top. got all the masking paper peeled off. I actually made these two charms for somebody. I just gave them the idea of putting the walnut and the gold acrylic together like this. So they just let me be creative with it. And this is kind of like what I came up with. And I really like how it turned out. I love this walnut and mirror gold acrylic. This mirror gold acrylic is really starting to become one of my favorite acrylics to cut and design with. And these chains right here are gold plated. I will link in the description below where I got these from if you want to check these out yourself. And let me know in the comments below what you think of these two materials together like this and i really like how it turned out it did turn out exactly what i thought it was going to look like this is just a look to show you what it looks like when you're wearing them i have them on a 20 inch chain and i have them on a 22 inch chain these are gold plated rope chains that i got off of amazon a link to these chains will be in the description below and if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next project he's gonna be mad when he see this video because i'm already rocking them and i know it looks good and I know they look good.